What's up everyone, it's David here and this afternoon we're going to take a look at the Hephaestus Sentinel series case for the Galaxy S7. Uh, now this was kindly sent over from Hephaestus to me after a product inquiry. It's not going to influence my decision of the case and what my opinion is, however, uh, I just wanted to let you know that this was kindly sent over from them. So, uh, first of all we've got the uh, just this normal soft gold option, uh, there's rose gold, there's blue, uh, there is a red, I think there's a silver. Uh, they all very, they all look the same, but they do have this sort of quite smart brushed aluminium uh, upside down V-shape on the back. So we've got the company logo embossed into the case itself. The case itself is made from polycarbonate, which is really tough. Uh, it's a lot more stronger than plastic. Uh, inside here, we've got this sort of strange logo. Please enlighten me to what it is. It does seem to be just a, a design feature rather than anything sort of functional. However, I am open to somebody tell me what that's going to be. Uh, all the essential cutouts, uh, you sort of see the thickness of the case. It will show you with the phone inside it now in a moment, which will sort of uh, give you an idea of how thick the case is and the protection it offers. And the side, we've got the volume up, volume down buttons, uh, pin cutout for the secondary noise cancelling microphone, we've got the raised power switch there, uh, we've got the speaker cutout, uh, primary microphone, new micro USB, and the 3.5mm headphone jack. So overall, you know, give it a bend and a flex. This is good quality straight from the off. There's actually no, no packaging. Uh, it was just sent as a prototype to me, so I didn't actually have any retail packaging. Uh, but, you know, it, you know, good first impression. When you take a, f a case out of the, the packaging, you can always tell the quality just by sort of picking it up and giving it a sort of bend and prod just to see how tough it is. <clears throat> I've had some really bad cases in the past which don't fit properly or it obscures cutouts in the bottom of the phone and just you know, looks a mess but so you know kudos to the guys who are sort of making a, a really well designed case They've obviously put a lot of thought into it and making sure that everything fits properly and everything's cut up precisely uh, so it's not going to actually affect the daily usage of the handset so uh, let's just pop the the phone inside it so just a reassuring snap just to let you know that it's in there so if we look at the the top here you can see the screen does have a little bit of protection around the edges it just does go all the way around as you can see uh, now obviously it's not going to protect it from uh, too much for example a drop from this height would probably be okay uh, but I would imagine a sort of drop on the tarmac with lots of stone chippings on the pavement is probably going to dent into the glass now this is Gorilla Glass floor so it is obviously well protected but just something to bear in mind if you are going to get a case like this if you want to keep your screen protected be able to look at a tempered glass screen protector not actually my cup of tea i tried one with my one plus three t it came off after about three days so um you know it's up to you what you want to do but i kind of like the the naked look of the handset makes it look much more sleek and it feels nicer when you're actually touching the glass too so as i said if we look at the back here you can actually see the thickness of the case it doesn't actually obscure any of the functions of the camera, the flash, or the heartbeat sensor on the back here. But you can see that you know there's quite a bit of a shadow there, which allows you to see how thick the case is. So it does actually protect the camera if you're going to drop it on the floor at the same time. It's going to it's going to protect it from uh, some sort of impact if it's going to hit the hit the pavement or other hard surfaces. So at the bottom, uh, you can see the sort of uh, the precision of the cutout. It's actually really nicely done. Everything is quite symmetrical. Um, it, just where the this does have a D brand skin on the back of the phone, so it is affecting slightly the sym the symmetry of the pinhole cutouts here. Uh, so please be assured if you put yours in when you haven't got a D brand skin, that is going to be lined up perfectly. Uh, I've got the speaker output cutout here, slightly larger re aperture here for the micro USB uh, port. So uh, if you are going to use uh, a third party micro USB lead, then obviously that's uh, you know basically with you in mind i wouldn't usually recommend that always use the lead that comes in the box with your phone it's going to charge it better keep your keep your battery lasting longer at the same time and then we've got the 3.5 mil headphone jack as well now onto that this does lead me to one small issue so this is the standard galaxy s7 headphones so i've popped that in there let me just uh, lift this up to the microphone so you can hear it Okay, so you get that snap, which lets you know that the headphones are fully connected into the into the headphone porthole. Uh, so you've got the uh, the poles at the end of the of the headphone jack here. So obviously they all connect inside, and they obviously relate uh, relay the different functions to the phone. So uh, if I go to a larger pair of headphones, so I'm just pop this down for a second. So a larger pair of headphones. So these are a pair of Sennheisers. Uh, been lying around at the bottom of my bag for the last week for work. Uh, unfortunately, uh, now this is something I didn't actually realize, uh, is that 
doesn't fit. You end up with just a really loose kind of flapping about uh, with the headphone jack, which is a big shame. Uh, they've obviously accommodated for larger poles here, um, but unfortunately, due to the way that these are constructed, obviously, you can see the difference in size there. Um, it doesn't actually fit into the headphone port, which is a real shame. That's a great case, but obviously it's not going to be any good if you like your fancy headphones and you want to listen uh, to music, you know, at night, for example, with a case on. It's also important, obviously, for people who uh, want to go out running. Now, I know most people who go out running will probably have a pair of sort of wireless sports headphones, but there are a lot of people there who have still got normal headphones and may have a thicker uh, sort of a uh, port at the top of their 3.5 mil jack and weren't going to be able to use this given the phone's water and dust resistant uh, a lot of people can sort of take this out running because uh, it can sort of survive the elements and it's a shame that they wouldn't be able to use that because obviously they'd have to take the case off which leaves you unprotected and if you drop the phone obviously you might cry or get upset uh, but that's just one thing obviously I wanted to make you aware of um, it's not a huge deal breaker to be absolutely honest with you um, I can think of worse things to get upset about but uh, it is something you need to consider if you are going to be looking at this case uh, the second one is wireless charging uh, if you absolutely have to um, I'm not sure a lot, I don't know a lot of people who do uh, our younger son does he absolutely loves it uh, if we just take the, the phone out of the case here, if we just pop this on just to show you that it's actually switched on give it a moment there we go so it's charging so uh, this is largely to do with the metallic uh, insert on the back here so it's obviously as I say it's brushed aluminium um, this is actually going to interfere with the current coming through the back of the handset into the the coil which is obviously on the back of the battery and as I said this does have a deep brand cut, uh, skin on the back so if you're wondering why there's not shiny glass that's why uh, so if we just demonstrate if we just pop the phone in the case here just pop that on the charging mat nothing I can even spin the phone around as well just to sort of see how I can get the current going through it's absolutely nothing it's absolutely just not letting anything through again that's not gonna be a huge deal breaker I mean at the end of the day if I'm thinking practically the lead is there and it doesn't take a lot to just pull it out of the back of the charging mat and just pop it in the bottom of the handset not a huge amount of uh, issues there for me to be honest but a lot of people uh, you know would perhaps buy this case and without this review wouldn't actually know that that would be the case so it's just to make you aware that was one of the the two things i picked up that and the headphone jack uh just a slight downer for me on what is otherwise what i felt is a, a very well made and really good looking case uh there are i'd say millions of cases out there uh like i say you can pay pound you can pay five pound you can pay up to 40 pounds for a case uh, but for 9.95 you know just five pounds short of a 10 five pence short of a tenner this is a really sound bite. It's well made. It looks good. Uh, you know, there's attention to detail as well, which is really good. It's just a shame about those, you know, those little issues there with the headphone and the wireless charging on the back. Uh, I would definitely recommend this to anyone who's looking for a, a Galaxy S7 case. Again, they do make them for iPhones as well. I have got a review coming up for those in a, in a bit. Uh, this is the iPhone case here. This is for the 6S. This is the Rhodes Gold one. So look out for that soon. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. And if you do want to see more videos like this, of which there will be very soon, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers, guys.